place called Broughton and I'm going to a four day dog show that is breed specific to Shetland sheep dogs. So my Shelties are um, going to be competing there and yeah, camping for four days, boom docking. So it should be fun. Um, it's pretty hot today. It's supposed to be hot for the next four days, but it's also supposed to rain, so um, I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I may be running the generator a lot to keep the AC going for the dogs, but um, yeah, so off on another adventure. I had a lot of work done on the, um, on the RV the last couple of days. Um, I had brakes put on all the way around. I had the tailpipe fixed new exhaust pipe put on there. Um, I had the oil changed. I had um, we put some air in the tires. We, um, hmm. uh, I think that's about it. Let's go around. But um, yeah, it was good. And my RV guy that came out, he's really good at, um, he's very nice. And very patient and showed me stuff and we talked about you know what I should have on the road when I head out west and you know what I should make sure I have like you know have oil and um, you know what kind of oil I needed to keep on hand and you know coolant and you know stuff like that so it's really nice to have somebody that's willing to you know help you out share information so so yeah it was good this will be my first trip when I go out west, um, you know, like a long trip that far on my own in an RV, not in like my vehicle, but, you know. So, and this is a 2009, so, and it's relatively new to me, so I don't know it that well and all its, you know, issues. My car is a um, 2015 and I up maintenance on it and I don't know it's pretty um, reliable so anyway um, I'm gonna be driving for a while and maybe crank up the tunes and just kind of get into the driving and I will chat with you guys so, later. update finally at my camp spot um, it was not all that enjoyable. I thought I was going to have to go home because, um, so I got here, I parked, I was getting ready to level everything. And then, um, the guy who owns the property was like, Oh, why don't you park in this other direction? So I was like, okay. So I moved the camper. And then when my friend came, my friend was supposed to back in next to me but there was like this big tree and I was trying to guide her by the tree so she didn't hit it or like her roof didn't like roofs parts didn't hit the tree and then I was looking at the roof and I wasn't looking on the other side and she was like this far like this far from from the tree hitting her camper and then she was all stressed out and freaking out like and I was like well you got it didn't hit the tree you got it that far we should be able to back it out of there and she was freaking really bad and I don't know so somehow I ended up talking her into letting me back it out of there and the guy who owns the land was kind of directing me and so we got it out um and then I don't know. Then there was a whole bunch of moving around and people moving their campers to be in different spots. And I finally got my spot and I somewhat level, as level as I could get it. And then um, I went to go turn on the AC so that the dogs could be cool. And there was nothing. The refrigerator wasn't on. Nothing was on. None of the coach stuff was on. So I'm like okay shit I went to um put diesel and um propane in and I forgot to um 
like plug the camper back in so maybe I wore out the I ruined you know like I drained the battery or something the coach battery some so every I don't know nobody seemed to know anything somebody was like well if your generator's running that will that will recharge the coach battery so I was running the generator but still like nothing was happening for a while and I'm called my RV guy thank god he was like so apparently it was some button that I needed to push it was like a a button to shut off the battery for the coach to save the battery or something I don't know but um I didn't know about the button um well I guess I knew there was a button there but it was always on so I don't know how it got turned off so after all that panicking thinking I was gonna have to go home because it's supposed to be like 90 for the next couple of days hot and humid I the dogs can't be without AC it would have been way too hot um so I was really happy that that was it so I got that everything running um Dawn my friend she started having her generators kept shutting off and so she couldn't get her AC and then she was gonna go home and it was just so stressful and then um then I don't know some guy came over and got it going for her and then um I don't know I was like well if you're gonna go home then let me at least feed you so I cooked some um you know like sausage peppers and onions on the grill and salad and baked beans and um I don't know by that time everybody was calmed down and I think she was feeling a lot better she had her belly full she got her air conditioners going and I don't know so anyway day one over tomorrow's the show and it starts early so um so anyway adventures are definitely um you need to be patient so glad i'm working out these kinks before i head out west you know all right guys good night for now and i will update you tomorrow good morning wow so yeah i fell asleep hard last night got the generator going so I could make the coffee and um, now I'm just going to shower and get ready for the show. Um, it's big to little today so um, I have a little bit of time. So I will video a little bit more later.
You got it. That was nice. pretty big storm blow in um, and yeah it was a long day I'm pretty tired I'm just kind of hanging out having a beer so day one of the show is over um, I'm just kind of hanging out in the camper um, I was able to turn off the AC because it did get cool after um, after it rained so that was good um, and yeah, I made, um, made uh, salmon on the grill, and Dawn made her special blueberry, cucumber blueberry feta cheese mint um, salad. I know it sounds gross, but it tastes really good. Um, and we had rice, and yeah, the dogs are all just chilling. Got Siri up on the bed, Max down there, Pippin down there, and Lainey's over there, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's pretty soggy out there, and it's the end of the t day one, so day two, hopefully we have some better runs, dogs ran really good, I just, um, had a few little oopsies, <laughs> I guess, so anyway, um, part two to come tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.